It is championship Saturday for high school spring sports. 11 teams from the 757 playing for state championships in baseball, softball, and soccer. We begin on the diamond. Class 5 baseball, Cox from Virginia Beach taking on Northern Virginia powerhouse Independence. Cox trying to win the third state title in program history. Bottom of the fifth, Cox is up one to nothing. Independence with a runner on third. Ball is hit to the first baseman, but look at pitcher Riley DeCandido gets over there to touch the bag to end the inning. That is a heads up defensive play. Top of the six is when the Falcons really exploded. It's still one to nothing. Runners on the corners. Tyler Frostad, RBI single through the left side. That scores Alec John. That makes it two to nothing. And a little later, now it's Joseph Munitz at the plate. Lefty sends one the opposite way. It's a two RBI single for him. Falcons are really starting to feel the momentum. Independence would change pitchers, but it really didn't matter. This is going to be Michael Irby at the plate. And check this out. He's going to rip it into the gap. Two RBI double. It was six to nothing. Falcons added two more in the inning to go up eight to nothing at the end of the sixth inning. Bottom of the seventh. Jake Colaccini in to close things out. Pops it up to left. Lewis Schultz going to secure it. He's going to make the final out. And that is it. The Cox baseball team wins by the final of eight to nothing. The dog pile is on. They are the 2023 Class 5 state champions. There's three things we talked about, um, and I got to say it because these guys, we, we talked about it over the last 10 days, is straighten your nickel, making sure that everybody fell in line, no egos, pass the bat, trust your teammate, and have that championship DNA. And those guys did it, and uh, kudos to them. They, they deserve it. It was so successful because, you know, they won it two years ago with a lot of seniors, a lot of older guys, and we had to rebuild last year. And we rebuilt. We, we took our losses last year, but we came back better than ever. And, you know, it feels, feels amazing. Other baseball state semi state final games. Smithfield loses in the class four title game to Hanover and in class two Pocosin falls to Patrick County seven to three. All beats district showdown in the class five boys soccer state final. Cox looking for back to back titles. Princess Anne trying to play spoiler. First half PA already up one to nil. It's number 10 Will Jennings. The junior with some great dribbling. He attacks and watch the incredible shot right there. Right foot. Goes top left cross across his body. What a play. Made it two to nothing. And the PA faithful, well, they're fired up after that. Second half, Cox with the free kick. The goalie, Rake Peter. Look at that great stop. The Cavaliers added one more goal on the day, and they go on to win it three to one. And the Cavaliers go on to hoist the trophy. Princess Anne are the class five state champs. It's been amazing, you know, the change of emotion. Uh, after yesterday, you know, I was I was pretty scared, but, you know, I always knew we could pull it off. That's, that's what we're all about, fighting, battling to the last minute, and, you know, we got it done. As, as, yeah, I think we improved each week. That, what, again, was our objective. Um, and then once we reached states, I think the boys let it all hang out. You know, they came to play each game. Um, there was no quit at any time. We went to PKs. We, you know, we have a keeper who's never been in a PK situation. He steps up, makes a great save. Um, our guys step up, make the shots. Today, a lot of players came through, uh, and it, it's a team effort all the way around. All 757 showdown in the boys' soccer class four title tilt, and it's Jamestown that defeats Smithfield one to nothing. Freshman Jason Sneed with the game-winning goal, fifth state title in program history for Jamestown. Hickory softball was trying for the class five state title against Woodgrove, and this one just didn't go the Hawks' way. They gave up this run in the second inning and could never really get any offense going. They gave up two more runs. Top of the seventh here, it's going to be the last chance and they're going to fly out to end the game. The Hawks actually beat this team in last year's state semifinals, but they fall this year. Three to nothing in the final. After the game, head coach Shane Smith on his girls' season as it comes to a close as state runners up. Last year, we were able to beat them in the semifinals, and this year, the tables are turned, they got us. But our girls competed. Um, you know, we didn't have many strikeouts today, but she got it in our hands, and we just weren't Number able two, to bear up the ball class. as much as we like. Okay, other finals, Class 3 softball, York falls to Northside 3-1. to one. In girls soccer in Class 4, Smithfield loses to Tuscarora 2 to nothing. In Class 3, the Lafayette girls lose to Brentsville District 1 to nothing. And there were a couple of semifinal games in Class 6 boys soccer. Kellum won its game, Lansdowne semifinal game currently in progress. So lots of sports, three state champions. Congratulations to them. It just illustrates how difficult it is to win a state title.